The pandemic has been hard on those struggling with substance abuse. Communities are seeing more overdose deaths as shelters and treatment centers have been limited over the last several months. In Columbus, officials hope the opening of a new sober living house will help reverse the trend. CBS 4's Zach Myers has that story. While 2020 has been hard on everyone, organizers with Bartholomew County's Alliance for Substance Abuse Progress, or ASAP, say it's been especially tough on those struggling with addiction. Because if they had a job, it's probably gone. If they had a house, they might have been kicked out. That's why they see the opening of ASAP's first sober living house as a crucial step forward. We like to call it sober because that's what it is, free of illicit drugs and alcohol and they also are committed to the recovery journey. A $33,000 grant and community donations turned an old house into a safe haven for men who've already been to jail or through the drug court and don't want to go back. So they're not having to go back to maybe the very neighborhood or the very house where they got into trouble and the, the bad uh, inputs are still there. COVID-19 forced many shelters and treatment facilities to close or reduce their services. And even this opening is limited by the virus. Because of COVID, we're, we're starting slowly. We're going to have one person per room to kind of keep them semi-quarantined. That's not stopping plans for ASAP to open four more homes for men and three for women by the end of the year. It's just the beginning. You know, at this point, I don't think that there's a maximum number of homes that could be filled and be helpful to the community. In Columbus, Zach Myers, CBS 4 News. Turning to